Research complete. My name is Pratik Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial how we can create an analog clock. Okay, so now let's start. I uh, yes, first come on the front panel. Okay, now right click here, go to the silver and numeric. Choose this uh, gay silver, otherwise, what we do and go to the numeric and you can choose this case also. Okay, this one. Let's increase. Yes, now we need to modify this one, guys. Uh, how we can modify? Let's uh, uh, what we do let's first uh, I enter here like uh, like I'm at here 1 okay and in the end I'm at here 12 okay this one is ours let's change ours okay and let's modify uh, take your cursor on 6 and there have one uh, symbol that is as like a refresh and you can modify like this and in the downside the 6 uh, here uh, yes guys now maybe it's uh, looking well and uh, yes 6 now this one is our 12 and let's modify like this it's uh, looking well yes guys 12 1 2 3 6 11 okay this is our arts okay and uh, what we do uh, first right click here and go to the advance okay and right now the function is customize okay click to this one yes guys now uh, now what we do right click here go to the uh, let i am choose the silver and uh, in the silver go to the data container choose the silver cluster this one uh, like this yes let's modify increase the size like this uh, like this okay ah uh, yes okay now everything is done guys yes now what you do uh, select this one and drag here uh, otherwise what we do uh, let's I'm um, copy this one uh, sorry yes let's I'm um, uh, duplicate this okay and I'm and here a uh, minute okay this is minute same and let's I'm um, again duplicate for second and I'm and here second okay done yeah minutes hours and second yes guys and please remember in the second it's display to 60 let's i'm and here 60 here okay yes like this it's 60 and hours is 12 it's are uh, done and in the minute also is 60 let's i'm and here 60 again here yes guys uh yes it's uh looking well uh, okay now what we do first we take the second okay let's i'm increase the size uh yes uh, yes increase the size and what you do right click here go to the scale and uh, style and choose this one okay and drag on in this cluster like this uh, let's uh, increase again yes guys this is our second okay please remember yeah and next one uh, we will take the minute okay then we take the hours okay uh, let's change the color also like this cluster needle is red uh, well uh, good and in the minute what we do right click and go to the property and in the needle click to this one let's uh, we will uh, choose the blue color yes guys this is the minute color okay and in the hours color what you do right click go to the property let's i will choose the uh, maybe a uh, red color okay it's a uh, same let's again change and uh, what we do let's i will choose the maybe it's green okay guys ours is green uh yes this one is minute now what you do copy this one and drag here like this okay now please remember now what we do this is minute okay now right click here and go to the scale and style and choose this one okay guys looking amazing and uh, wait a few second let's again modify uh, okay uh, yes now it's looking good okay now the next one is our hours so i will increase the size and uh, same this one and same this one uh, maybe is well yeah it's uh yes it's looking uh, good 
okay this one is minute this one is second and the last one is our hours okay let's i uh, uh click to visible label and label yes now this one is ours it's very important now what we do copy and drag here yes okay let's uh let's modify guys yes guys now uh, now i think it's all clear okay you can modify as per uh, your need okay now uh yes it's good now let's uh visible item label okay now save okay press yes and uh, this is my directory i am and here uh, this one control 4 i am and here uh, uh, analog like i am and here analog control okay now click to yes save and close this one yes save okay you see it's automatic created here okay now right click let's i modify yes guys now what we do let's uh, first test it's working well or not now directly let's i'm choose uh, the second date and time okay this is second date and time and create a while loop for continuity operation let's i will choose this one and i'm uh, create a one condition here uh, go to the numeric sorry class uh, structure and create a key structure okay uh, like this okay if sometime uh, your uh, date function is not working then it's uh, stop your clock okay and what we do for that and right click and create a control this one drag here uh, okay yes and go to the false same you need to connect right click go to the timing and use the second to date and time uh yes yes guys and go to the true right now you need to delete this one because it's condition when your uh, date time uh, function is not working then it gives us 000 everything yeah same right click and create a constant here let's i will modify yeah uh yes now right click go to the numeric and we need to use uh sorry comparison and take the equal okay if the sign is equal means your data time is not working and the constant like 000 and same for this constant then uh, that time your clock is stop okay it's uh, give uh, everything is zero uh yes in the false you need to connect yes all done and you need to connect to this one okay and true same connect this one yes now right click here go to the cluster and first we need to use unbundle by name because in this time they have a loads of bundle okay if you don't know then what we do right click and create integrator and you see there have a loads of function here in this bundle then we need to divide or we can say separate okay for this we use uh, this function and the name is uh click to this one sorry what's going on yeah label unbundle by name now when you click to this terminal and you see it's open it's describe the loads of function click to this one and you see but right now we need to uh, use the one second and uh, expand uh, next is minute okay next is hours yeah everything is done guys uh yes now what we do right now and right click here go to the cluster and we use the un, uh, right now bundle by name okay this one is unbundle by name right now we need again bundle by name and for this what we do right click and go to the uh, yeah create and create local variable because we need to give the input here input cluster okay change to read okay it's define the uh, like uh, your d your hours minute and second then you can see here like this see hours minute second okay everything is done let's uh, expand uh yes same second to second minute to minute and hours to hours and you need to connect this one to this one let's give some warning that is the like red dot okay now uh, how we can remove this problem and right click go to the numeric go to the conversion and we need to use this double okay and let we will choose give the number first here and in the second here right now you see the problem is gone okay and yes let's modify okay press ctrl b for clean the circuit ah yes 
now what we do let's first terminal connect to the minute second is connect to the hours and like this and it's minute to minute and second hours to hours uh yes guys okay now what we do uh it's give some uh, right click and create a control yes guys now let's modify uh sorry uh let's modify right click and yes stop button this one is our stop button uh okay uh yes and this one is timestamp okay first click to run and see it's working or not yeah you, you can see the one needle is moving it's working well guys now let's modify as like a digital also okay then what we do uh, in the digital there are two option one is uh, right click here and maybe there are option uh, digital display yeah it's have option uh, yeah 14 okay when I click to run and you can see 29 30 it's the second okay it's your second and it's also display in the second you can see 34 35 okay and let's again modify uh, for the minute also right click visible item and digital display okay this is your minute okay let i will uh, modify again guys and uh, uh, yes uh, yes okay and same for the hours uh, sorry same for the hours right click visible item and click to uh, digital display this one uh, okay and uh, less we will modify for this you can easy to understand what's uh, going on and i meant here text here uh, otherwise what we do uh, right click visible item and uh, uh, yes now let's amend here ours okay and uh, this one is ours uh, this one okay nine yes right now the time is nine o'clock okay and uh, this is minute enter minute m drag here next one is second as okay this one is second okay now it's working you can modify this uh, like background of this one you can modify as per your requirement or you can change like this okay but right now maybe it's uh, well you can modify uh, right now you understand what's how you can create an analog clock okay yeah now uh, when i click to run and you can see the, this is the second and this is the minute okay now let's i'm um, open the my uh, real clock uh this one uh okay maybe timer uh uh this one stopwatch uh yeah this one okay now you can see the right now the time is 9 3 9 is hours 3 is minute okay and this one is our second wait a few seconds okay after complete the 60 second then it's uh increase the minute okay let's wait a few seconds okay guys now 53 54 55 56 and let's uh, see minute is increase or not yes right now minute is increase for as per our real time clock you can modify guys you can see analog and you can modify as per your comment uh, like change the property change the color and needle color needle uh, width high like this you can modify uh, okay uh, thank you so much if you really like this video please like and share our channel thank you so much guys